Good morning. Oh gosh. You don't want any more? Oh, I knew it. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're still eating Irish soda bread for breakfast. Jamesy's still rocking his beads from the parade. Still very festive over here for St. Patrick's Day. But yesterday we did take the day off vlogging. Yesterday was like really a rest day. Today is more of a catch up day. Um, but the temperature's been good. Jamesy's on Beauty and the Beast for our Disney movie, like chronological watch. It's gonna be a good day. really struggling to like put him down because he's been just like making things and like using his mind and he's like just so focused like I feel like this is good working on his skills I don't want to stop him we are still cutting out TV over an hour before his nap um we just had a pretty decent, I've been doing like two half lunches. He kind of naps right in the middle of the day. So he'll have like yogurt and fruit before the nap and then after the nap he'll have something like more like sandwichy, savory. Um, but we have already done that. And then we just do quiet play and I read him books. And he's just like super into it today. Maybe, maybe we're done now. We just dumped, dumped the, um, his cars out. So. so James went down for his nap fabulously. I made earlier similar chickpea salad to what I've made before. That's like a chicken salad or a tuna salad. So it was a whole can of chickpeas. I chopped up probably like six small pickles half of a orange pepper, so like a little bit different than last time, um, pickle juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and then a lot of dill weed. And um, honestly, I think it's like a great, if anyone isn't eating meat on Fridays, it's, it's great for that substitute. Oh, and of course mayo. We use vegan mayo, but you don't necessarily, as long as you're, if you're trying to like eliminate meat, you could use normal mayo. But Honestly, your mind like seriously tricks you into thinking it's chicken salad because of those. I mean, I guess that might be if you have been a regular chicken salad eater, um, but I love it. I do put the most salt of anything. There is pickle in there, but I like it salty. So I'm gonna put it just on some bread and have a quick lunch before I start editing the vlog. Ooh, that bokeh, that bokeh, that bokeh. Got Christmas. Christmas flare on. This is because I've had some, um, not bad names, but just more like. Oh, you're super, you're super back. Let me just like, let the light hit my better your, side. Let the light hit your face better. I got like 30 minutes left to work. I had a very like, just a lot of obstacles were brought to our attention during meetings throughout the day. So it's like, we're having a Pepsi. Why not? To close out the day. And I think I'm gonna bit the heat up some cheese. From the Chris Kindle market. Don't get weirded out. It's four months old. It's cheese. Cheese is old. And this is like sealed. This thing could last centuries. <laughs> He's trying to look around me to watch Donald. Alright, Sarah just whipped up some uh, a little snack for James and I before dinner. It's toast with this like chickpea um, spread on top. It looks so good. Of course the monster's here to beg for some. I got dinner going over here. I am caramelizing some onions, cooking them down with half of the orange pepper that I used for the chickpea salad. So those are cooking down. I'm about to turn it to low, just with vegetable broth, olive oil, salt, and pepper. We've got cornbread in the oven, which I'm super jazzed about. Then I don't know if we're gonna go just tacos or if we're gonna go Crunchwrap Supremes or burritos or what 
we're gonna go. But I'm going to make some refried black beans along with like mashed zucchini. I think I'm gonna like mash them together and zest them up um, and probably do the crunch wrap springs. I think that's what we're doing. Cause I got hard shell, like I have hard shells and I have tortillas, so why not? All right, it's like low 50s, I think. So toss James in the stroller. We're gonna take a walk to Target to grab a few things that we're in need of while mom finishes cooking and maybe has just a few minutes just to chill by herself and relax a little as we get uh, another productive evening started. It's a cute little Target. I hope the sun's still out when I get outside because it's gorgeous, but we're gonna do a quick little few things. Sarah just texted me a few things we're missing. Free charge, booyah. And then we'll head out of here. Well, I was gonna get a little treat for me and him to share for going on this adventure with me, like a little candy or something to have before we went home, a little secret away from mom, but he's asleep. All right, look how beautiful it is, you ready? All the gorgeousness, all the gorgeousness, all the gorgeousness, boom. Come on, these buildings, come on. People walking around with big balloons. Come on, downtown down there, come on. The lake over there, come on. Gotta go on a run later, but I think it's gonna be the gym again, just because I don't like our running the lakefront at nighttime. I just don't think I'm gonna have the time to get up before the sun goes down. But tomorrow, I'm supposed to be in the low 60s tomorrow. And I gotta talk to Sarah, make sure it works out with any plans we have, but I'm gonna try to get out right at four o'clock because I start working at four central time because it's five Eastern. And uh, hit up that lakefront for my run tomorrow. And I also am over, I'm, I'm due for a long run because all the festivities on Sunday, I didn't run the 12, 12 miles I wanted to run. So I actually need to do like a 12 mile. So that'd be pretty fun if I got out like right at four. I got myself, um, I ended up getting James something. I didn't get him candy. I got him a new Play-Doh because Play -Doh, the Play-Doh we have for him is kind of dried up because we've been playing with it so much. Um, I got me a Starbucks cold brew and then I got Sarah a coconut pie. It's like six and the sun's still up and there's green and buds coming out. It's almost time, Chicago. It's almost time. But then it's also mud season. So it's an actual season here in Chicago um, where you go through a couple weeks of just sludge on the ground like that. But it's everywhere. So I did a whole can of black beans, drained and rinsed, then two zucchinis and put some water in, and then a whole packet of taco seasoning. And so I've let it cook a while. The zucchini is soft. So now I'm just gonna start mashing it and keep it hot. So this will be like our meat. We're jamming out to Billy Joel because we're debating if we're gonna go see him in concert or not at Notre Dame. I don't know why there's a debate. Sarah's like ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we got some cornbread that's delicious. We got some homemade crunch up Supremes. I don't think they would make a Taco Bell commercial, but they probably taste better than Taco Bells. <laughs> Thank you, Peter, for reminding me to vlog when I was doing. So I'm going to do this in a little different, not do it straight in the pan and burn my fingers. Oh, so we got the beans, the onions, some cheese, top it with the shell, go with some sour cream. So like almost plant-based, but just not quite. Tomatoes, and then I'm going to put some salsa verde on it. And cover the middle up with a tortilla. I'm gonna fold it here. I'll show you once it's done because I need both hands. All right, this one looks a little better. And then everything that needs to be hot is already hot. This is more so just for like an additional toasting. So then I'll flip it and we'll eat. I mean, that looks pretty good. That might make a commercial. <laughs> I don't know about that one though. <laughs> How does your second one look? It looks commercial ready. Much better. Ready for my close to Mr. DeVille. What? Oh gosh. Now he knows what to say. Are you all, are you all done? Say, oh gosh. Oh gosh. 
This is a straight into the bath kind of dinner. But it is bath night. Anyway. It works out, but that was a messy dinner. Straight into the bath. It's also later. I didn't realize it was this late. It's like 7.20. We're going to give you a good long bath. We're going to jam to some music, play in the bath, get you in some jammies. He didn't have the longest nap today, and he fell asleep in the stroll on the way back, so I think he's like maybe good for bed soon. I might be pushing our luck. Case. I do you realize that's you? I think so. Good job. Oh, nice throw. Oh no! Two hours later. Actually, I don't know if we vlogged, so we had dinner and then we gave James a bath. He was already like, looking like he was struggling to stay awake. He was so tired. I think he's like, maybe good for bed soon. I might be pushing our luck. But, he was, I, I just think he was overtired because that was the worst Putting it to bed, yeah. I think, I think it was like two hours, and tonight, the biggest hurdle tonight about us like organizing and rebounding from the weekend in the past week was our <laughs> kitchen and dishes. Mm -hmm. And a vow to never let it get this bad again. Yeah, so while Sarah was struggling with James for two hours, I literally did dishes for two hours and took out the garbage. Yeah, James would like, just be like laying there with his eyes open. And then he like found my ponytail. <laughs> He just didn't know little, what he wanted. A little kid wanting to stay awake? Yeah. No hat. No hat Tuesday. <laughs> um, so what should we do now? It's actually 11.15. I have not changed our kitchen clock yet. Do it right now. So, um... I, I don't know. I'm like German to just go to bed. Christina and Grant, like, thought the new Spider-Man movie was going to come out, like, three months ago. So they actually pre-ordered it, and that came up tonight. So like, I was like, hey, do you want to watch Spider-Man No Way Home? And I fell asleep on the last. Yeah. So we're not gonna watch that tonight. Do you think I need to watch the other Spider-Man? So, TBD. TBD at 11.15 at night. Our kitchen clock is not up today. It's the only clock in our house that isn't, like, hooked up to satellites and the internet. Brother. Sarah's conspiracy theorist. Just kidding. She's not. <laughs> Shout out to my main girl Maria F. Doing our work for us and sending us a new quote calendar. So today, March 15th, it's a Tuesday. It says it right there. Today's by Ruth Gordon. Here we go. It's been a while. Courage is very important. Like a muscle, it is strengthened by use. Sick, Ruth. I'm shocked you didn't say, I dig it. I, I was going to. <laughs> really? I was gonna say I like. I was on the tip of my tongue. I was like, I, 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 I dig it. I dig it. You always say that, and like sometimes I would try to edit it out. <laughs> Cause I, you'd say it. I really want like an impossible whopper right now. Mm. Doesn't that sound good? It's eleven twenty. There's a Burger King down Halston. We also have some gold things. If it's 24 hours, you're going to go to Burger King. Check it. Check it out right now. Check it on your phone. This is a live stream. I'm going to go? Yeah. You're going to drive the car. <laughs> oh, there's a Burger Mania. We're not going to put... I'll, I'll never go to a place called Burger Mania. Close. Show me. I don't believe it. 10.30. Ah, oh, we just missed it. The bread. Fast food Bread. So that was a review. <laughs> and 
And I've missed my fast food burger. My wife and I are trying to be vegan. My kid likes the soda. The, that is us. <laughs> I did that. James, he does like the Mr. soda. Mr. Turb. Turb PBR. PB. R for Ryan. I just found... Yourself. Myself on a, a Yelp, Yelp review. Anyway. They open at 10 a.m. if you want I guess to we're not getting the... It's going to be 67 degrees tomorrow. It's good to be home. But the Burger King. It's good to be home. McDonald's. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>